Hey everybody, it's Drew from NWA3D and we're going to go over how to create something in Tinkercad and then download it for 3D printing. So we're going to go ahead and click create new design once you get logged in and it will take you to your main workspace area. So in here, this is going to be a, your area that you're going to be able to design stuff in and imagine this work plane as your 3D printer build plate. So we're going to create stuff on here that's going to be built on our 3D printer. So to be able to make something, we have to make our different basic shapes over here and basically drag them together in different ways on our work plane. So we're going to make a keychain because that's a great way to start with Tinkercad. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here to change what different types of shapes I have and go to symbols. And I like the star a lot. So I'm going to scroll down here to the star and I'm going to click on the star and then move out here and then click to drop it. So I'm going to click to drop it. And you can see these little white and black squares. When you scroll over them, you'll see the size in millimeters of your model. So you can actually design something to be in exact space. And if you click on something and you want to drag it out, this is going to drag it out all the way out like this to be able to create my shape and make it a lot bigger. And when it's making it a lot bigger, it's going to make it then snap it to the grid by going down here. And you can get it to not snap to the grid by clicking on this and either turn it off so you'll scale however you like. Or you can go down to a tenth of a millimeter or all the way up to five millimeters. But I'm going to go ahead and, and keep it on right now. And then I'll move this over here into the middle. So by clicking and holding on these black and white squares, I can actually change the size of my model. So I can click on this one and kind of stretch it out this way if I want. And then maybe click on this and stretch it out down here. So the ones in the corners, they kind of scale it together to be able to move things around. And you can even hold down shift while you move them. And then that will keep the scale correct as you're scaling it around. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find the letters to put my initials on there. So I'm going to go to symbols. And then I'm going to go ahead and click text. And then now I'm going to go down here to where we have a D. And I'll drag and drop that one right there. And then I'll move down here a little bit to get to W. So kind of scroll down a little. There you go. And then here's W. And then I'll drop that one right there. And then now once I have my letters on there, then we're ready to put our hole for our keychain. So to do that, you can turn regular shapes into holes by clicking right here. So if I wanted to, I could make my W a hole, in this, and that would be negative space inside here. So I'm going to go ahead and change that W by clicking on it to a hole shape right there. And then now I'm going to click on text and then go back to the regular basic shapes. And I can also make any of these shapes a hole by clicking on that. But I'm going to go up here where it already has these, the box and the cylinder holes for me. And then I'm going to click on this and drag it out and then drop it right there. But I need to get a little bit closer so I'll be able to see it better. So to zoom in, you can actually click right here to zoom in on your model. So then now as I'm zooming in, I can get a little bit closer so I can see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to click here on the side and then drag this down to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And then drag it over here right in the middle like that. And then now we're ready to group everything together. So this will actually turn into negative space. So when you click over here, it can make everything else go away. And then I'll drag a box around all these different things. And then I'm going to go over here to where it says group. And then when I click group, it's going to group all my shapes together. So now it's grouped, but something went wrong. So that D disappeared. And you can see that the D disappeared because the, the D was the same height as my star. So I'm going to click on ungroup. And then I'm going to click on the D and I'm going to make it a little bit taller. So by clicking on the D, and if you can't click on it, sometimes it might be stuck. So to be able to click on it, I might have to move my star out of the way because it's the exact same height. So I might need to drag it over here a little bit. And then I'll be able to click on my D. And then now I can drag this over here and drop it. And then I can move this right back over here and put it in the middle. There we go. And then now I can drag my letter back. But then before I'm done with it, I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And to do that, you can click on this tree shape right there. And you'll see it actually looks like a tree because if you change your perspective or the way you're looking by clicking on this box right here, you can actually change how you're looking at the different objects. So I'm going to move it down like there. And then we can see our tree shape. And then we can kind of raise it up a little bit. So I'm going to raise it up. Just like that, so we'll be able to see it. And then I can even hold my right mouse button down to be able to change our view. And we can move it around. But one thing you want to keep in mind is as you're, as you're lifting things up or moving things down, you want to make sure that they're still touching. Because if I move this up here, this might look like it's still touching. So when I click over here, that looks like that D's touching. But if you change your view, you'll see that it's actually not. It's actually above everything. So we have to make sure that we're looking at and having our objects all together. So I'm going to go ahead and move this back down here. And then I'll go ahead and change my view and make sure that it's still on there. Yep, there it is. Awesome. So then now I'm going to go ahead and select everything in the shape again. 
And then I'm going to r click right over here again on group. And then when I click group, then we're ready to go. There we go. I got my negative space and I have everything else together. But I don't know if I really like the D and the W like that. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate my model. So to rotate it, I'm going to click ungroup again. And then on this one, I'm going to go ahead and make this back to a solid shape if I can get back to my W. And then I'm going to click on here to make it solid. And then I'm actually going to rotate it. So you can see these arrows on the side. Those are your rotation arrows. And if you change your view, so by clicking this, I can even move over here to the side if I want. So by moving over here to the side, you can see that there's actually an arrow right here too. And this arrow can spin things up and down. So there we go. I can actually spin my W up. So I'm going to spin my W and lift it up a little bit like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this tree again, and then kind of lift it up here a little bit and make sure that it's still touching on my model. So there we go. Now I've got the D and the W on there. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and move my view back here and then select everything. And then now I'm going to group it together one more time. So then now when it's all grouped together, we're ready to download it. But before we download it, let's change this crazy name because we don't need to, uh, to have this. So we're going to go ahead and double click on that and then change it to something that we can find. So we'll say DBW keychain. And then press return. And then the last thing that we need to do is click on export. So when we click on export, we're gonna download it for 3D printing. So we're, when we're all ready, we're gonna click export. And then we're gonna say everything in the design to make sure it gets all of it. And then .stl. And .obj will work too, but a stereo lithography file, a .stl is better. So we're gonna click on that. And then it downloaded right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up Cura. And that's my slicing program. But you can use whatever slicer you need for your printer. And then click on Cura to open it up. And then I'm going to load my model inside of Cura by clicking Load. And then finding my model. So here it is right here, DW Keychain. I'm going to click on it. And then hit Open. And then now I can change all the different things that I need to to make sure all my settings are correct in here. And then when I'm ready to save, if I have my SD card in, I can click right here and it'll save it to the SD card. Or I can click Save Toolpath and save it exactly where it needs to be to save it on my SD card, and then put that in my printer and I'll be able to 3D print. I hope this helps you 3D print and have fun making stuff.